that uh, Cecil Jones I took away if you're with us right now. We want to have a little interview with her. Mommy, my condolences. Sorry about this. Thank you. Thank you. How, how did it all happen? How did you feel? For the past eight years, we've been battling with throat cancer. And I know my Lord will do it. So even yesterday at the bedside, I was looking at him. My husband could not talk. He was just lying down motionless. And I told the nurses to straighten him up. They did it. I saw that even though he was suffering, I still have faith and hope that I'll bring him home. So I went and asked the doctor, when will you discharge us? He said, oh, after we've taken off the stitches, you will go home. Because as Cecil said, he's been treated like a prisoner. He didn't like the way he's been left alone. So I had faith and hope that I'll come home with my husband. Little did I know when I got to the hospital at dawn this morning, I was told he's passed off around 2 to 30. And there was nothing I can do because God knows best. And I think his time is up because he suffered. For the past eight years, we've been battling with this cancer. We're still live on Joy News on Newsdex, and we're speaking with the wife of the late Sir Jones, Cecil Atukwefio. It's it's not been easy for her, as you can see. And let me just find out from you: what are your fondest memories of this great man who was giving to Ghana football? When he scored, Nigeria goalless was fighting for Ghana. And they played a goalless draw. That was my when people were all against him that he was going to use the local team, the House of Folk, to play a national team. And he said, So far, I will do it. And he really did it to perfection. That's the game. It was about uh a local Accra Hearts of Oak side that played against a very determined Nigerian side and drew goal is there. Wow. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I know it's very difficult for you and it's going to be difficult days to come. It is. It is. But I know my Lord will see me through. Though I've lost him, I have hope that he's still around me. How are you going to be coping with your children? Just a final question before you go. I know this is a bit difficult for you, but how are you going to be coping as we go on? Cool. Cool. Mommy, thank you very much.